next speaker is Lord Moylan. Uh, my Lords, the human rights flaw at the heart of the Northern Ireland Protocol is that out with the Good Friday Agreement, uh, it means that binding law and regulation can be amended in a foreign state, that is the EU, and then have direct effect in Northern Ireland without any democratic say by the people there. Would my noble friend agree that a first step to addressing this would be to change the protocol so that all binding law and regulation in Northern Ireland is made in a democratic forum where Northern Ireland electors are represented, that is, in this Parliament or in the Northern Ireland Assembly if a devolved matter, thus strengthening the, the Good Friday Agreement in spirit and in action? Well, in answer to the question from my noble friend, all sides need to continue to work together to ensure that the protocol can deliver these objectives and ensure that Northern Ireland continues to build on the gains of the peace process. And we need to create the conditions which allow people and businesses to adapt to and to implement the new requirements of the protocol. But ultimately, the protocol's fate depends on the political representatives of the people of Northern Ireland. The Stormont, Stormont Assembly will vote on the protocol in 2024 as agreed in the protocol itself.